A majority of citizens believed that homosexuality was rightly illegal, punishable by a range of sodomy and nuisance laws that should govern work, housing, public accommodations, and private bedroom behavior, and should stay so. And then more than a third of Americans, this was what shocked me, hesitated on whether a homosexual should be permitted to speak in public. Right? They contested the idea of First Amendment rights for homosexuals. Why? Why, did it, why would that have seemed like, a, a, seemed like a, question, a trick question to someone? Well, it was because it would be the modern equivalent of giving a bullhorn to a schizophrenic person. Right? They thought, why give a platform to the mentally ill? Movies like Deliverance hit the theaters, nationally and around New Orleans, which portrayed the act of male-male sex in a squeal-like-a-pig context of violent rape. Okay? A strange and frightening intercourse, right? foisted by the wicked on the unsuspecting. Right? And, and thought, capable of robbing, it was thought, a father, a brother, a son of his manhood. This is what it was believed. So imagine then, in this climate, a second-story bar on a forsaken street corner bordering the French Quarter exploded with flame through the windows in a way that forced people to pay attention, rippling outwards, not just through the French Quarter, but into greater New Orleans. And then the pages of the New York Times, where the civil, Southern civil rights journalist Roy Reed reports it, and across the ocean to the Times London, right? To Dublin, to the International Herald Tribune in Paris, to Australia even, for a day, until they discovered the nature of the bar that had burned and the nature of the patrons that had dwelled inside the bar. Then it dropped off immediately. But in the immediacy of the event, it also drew hundreds of onlookers in New Orleans, nearly all of the city's emergency workers. Bodies are trapped in the window bars, and lucky ones are toppling out injured and requiring emergency treatment, or, or, or they try escaping by running into the street trailing smoke sprinting away from the flames that are sometimes on the back of their heads, sprinting away also from a treacherous situation that would surely out the greatest secret in their lives. Visual, visualize the average New Orleanian pretending to learn with astonishment about this bar called the Upstairs Lounge, which was what was called a gay bar, right? One of approximately 20 homosexual dens around the French Quarter, and that it was rumored burned down, was burned down by a sexually conflicted, disaffected patron who was known to many of the victims. How confusing is that? And who was violently ejected minutes before the fire began. And then consider the humiliation for New Orleans, right? A live and live, let, a live, and let live culture beloved by so many. Paris of the South, the Big Easy, forced to acknowledge a large gay presence lurking among its population, where all the other vices are kept secret and swept into the corner. These individuals were dwelling in one of the bars where tourists and business conventioneers were supposed to lay down the green that fueled the city's major industry. So shocked and un un unable to muster sympathy, many locals let off some steam the next day by making jokes on the stoop about those charred corpses of, of men who they felt had disrespected their bodies so profoundly in life. And I'll, I'll tell you some of the jokes 